back to the Savannah. We have Lily Morgan and America Cruz. And I'm Sean Meir. And Nathaniel Kimball. Hi guys, so how are y'all doing today? Doing great, pretty good. good. So um, let's talk about what y'all kind of do for the church. What's, give us a little gist about some of that. All right, well, uh, I'm Sean and I uh, am the media associate here at church, which means that um, I kind of do all the, the social media stuff and uh, anything that you see on Sunday morning, like visually. I'm kind of in charge of coordinating that and, and planning all that out. Um, and then all the, the little video things that you see, and yeah. Cool. And I am the worship pastor, so anything and everything music related runs through me. So whether that's Sunday mornings or um, productions or any special events like conferences or something that we're gonna do, Anything that involves music that you hear comes through me, and I kind of have to make sure it all is running the right way. So how'd y'all, like, get y'all start in, like, y'all's fields and stuff? Um, so my, mine's pretty interesting, actually. So when I was in high school, kind of what my, my vision was when I was going into college and figuring out what I wanted to do, I really wanted to be, like, a sportscaster. Mm-hmm. And so that's what I went into. I, so I went off to, I actually went off to Southeastern, um, Louisiana University. I majored in mass comm and like with the vision of like being on TV. But once I got working at like the TV station there and the radio station, I just like fell in love with behind the scenes more. And so got to figure out all the technology of, you know, camera work and editing and all that. And then after that, went after college, found a job at a TV station. And then after five years there, came to work here. Oh, wow. So yeah. Yeah, and so for me, music is, it's just in the family. Like, if you're walking and you're talking, you're also singing or playing something. Um, And my dad played piano, my mom sang. I happened to get both of those and could make it work. So I did that growing up. And then from there, when I was in eighth grade, we actually moved back to Homa, and I started going to Covenant Christian. And um, I also, that was my first sort of introduction into anything worship related. I'd been doing music, but nothing worship related. And so started doing some worship stuff and immediately fell in love with it um, because I got to do what I loved and like do Jesus things at the same time. So it was kind of cool. And so all through the rest of middle school and through high school being at CCA, Um, Outside of the school, I was leading worship at a church, and um, in the school, we, while I was here, we were actually the ones that started chapel. So, um, like, I remember being in high school, we started chapel, and I was helping out leading worship for it. And um, from there, I left, and when I graduated, went to Louisiana College in Pineville where I didn't get a worship degree or any sort of like Bible degree. Um, I went and got a bachelor's in vocal music education. So technically, if I wanted to, I could go and teach in a high school or a middle school or an elementary school because I'm also a certified teacher. Um, And so I did all that, did my four years. And in the middle of all the chaos of the COVID mess and the shutdown, um, ended up getting the offer to come down here to First Baptist and decided to take it and run with it. And it's, I'd say it's going pretty good so far. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, what's kind of some things that y'all kind of like to do together to kind of just reemphasize Jesus together through the back scene, back behind the scenes kind of stuff? And with Nathaniel being in front and like leading worship and everything. Mm. Well, it's interesting because we we've talked about this before. How that your the things that you do, Sean, like make what I do work, and the things that I do make your stuff work. So they really go like hand in hand, all the way. Like one can't happen well without the other one being there too. Um, so like visually, I mean like very basic but if the stage is black like if it's dark and nothing's up then like it doesn't matter who's up there you're not gonna be able to see anything that's going on um yeah that's kind of something that i thought 
Yeah. And and two, like, just kind of, like, throughout the week, it's it's kind of interesting how it all works together. How, like, usually at the beginning of the week, like, Nathaniel will have the vision of, like, or, or you know, the of, of, I guess, kind of what songs are going to do and, and how it's going to sound and, and kind of the feelings. And, and then I take those songs and try to basically look, okay, visually, how do I interpret the same thing that Nathaniel is trying to convey to the congregation and so just and then you see the the singers when they come in and the praise team and we come in on Wednesday night and we practice during the week and then coming in on Sunday morning and it's kind of cool when everyone's kind of on the same page and kind of conveying that same thing to the congregation so it's like it's really cool because every week we get to start with like a blank slate like yeah. everything's fresh we start completely over and all week we're building this product i guess mm-hmm. you could say for yeah. lack of better words and so whether it's me walking in his office which happens all the time walking in yeah. your office always asking you questions or you want clarification on something or back and forth and then practices and just watching things develop over the week um we literally work for the weekend yeah yeah what are some hobbies that y'all have that kind of help y'all like do what y'all do on Sundays, but like that are like maybe different or similar to what y'all do at the church? Hmm. Good question. Um, well, I guess the funny thing for me is that, yes, I am a music guy, but there's also a line. Like <laughs> I can't do music all the time. If, if I ever get to the point during a day that music is just getting on my nerves, I know it's time to stop for the day. And so um, pretty, like, honestly, like I'm being so serious. Anything that doesn't involve music, I'm pretty much game for. Because it's just fun. And you'd be surprised, like, because the other thing about what we do is, like, it's very much involved heavily in the creative process. And so that's very much, like, all over the place. You don't really know when an idea is going to hit you or when you're going to have a new thought about something else. And so anything that I can do to get my mind off of what I do makes what I do that much better, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I would say like the same things like for me, if I'm like thinking of my hobbies, it it sounds kind of like lazy, but I really (laughs) love watching. I really love like watching uh, TV shows and movies and that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But for me, as like media, and I'm you know into, again, like uh, filming and video editing and that kind of stuff, but like watching it kind of with the critical eye of like, mm-hmm. oh, look, I really like what they did in this TV show. Maybe I can bring that into like a video that we do here at church um, or just different things like that. Um, it's kind of weird because even, even when I was in like media and communications at, at Southeastern, they would always tell us, like, go home and just, like, watch Sports Center. Like, if you want to be a sportscaster, like, just watch with and just watch what they do. And, like, the things you like, just, like, take it and, like, use it as your own whenever you do it. So I guess that's kind of... Okay, yeah, you made me think of another thing. thing, too. I kind of, I geek out when it comes to worship stuff sometimes where I have I follow so many churches on, like, social media and all that. And so... I'm just scrolling through, watching their worship stuff. See, see what I like, see what I don't yeah. like, see what I can use, not use. Because seeing, because everybody does what works best for their church, and so if I can look at their ideas and see how we can twist it to work for us, then like that's more ideas that we could have. So yeah, it's really cool. What is some advice that y'all have for people looking to get into media or worship? Ah, oh, here we go. Um, I would say get as much experience as you can like there's there's a lot of especially once you i think even in high school but once you even get into college like every tv station around here like in new orleans in the baton rouge areas they love interns Mm -hmm. and so if you can just get in to a market get into a tv station get somewhere and just do stuff you know um because that's what like employees or employers are looking for they're looking for people who can like like they don't care about your GPA or you know like honestly right. like they want to see that you've done stuff and what you can do so yeah yeah and I would say too with that whole internship idea it's like go find someone that you can learn from and be under because like I'll use myself yeah. as an example 
this summer, this past summer, made 10 years of me leading worship. But this is the first time that I'm paid full time to lead worship. I've never been paid like as as an income source to lead worship. It's just been something that I love to do and I want, want it to do and want it to learn how to do better. And so that's the thing too. Unless you can do something well before you get paid for it, like there's really no reason for you to get paid for it because that's the, like you just said, Sean, you can you can go have the degree and you can be top of your class and all that stuff. But like we're living nowadays, especially in 2020, where people want to know like, OK, well, like, let me see your content. Let me see what you put out. Um, if it's not good, then you could have all the training. But like, I'm just going to overlook <laughs> yeah. you. And it's it's kind of harsh, but it's true. So like that's the biggest thing. Do it on your own, study on your own, figure things out on your own, but also get with someone who is also willing to invest into you because if they're not willing to invest, then you need to go find someone else. Um, But seriously, see how much you can learn from people because it experience is way more valuable than any book will teach you. Yeah. And don't be on top of that too. Like don't be afraid to ask questions. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because like that's a bit like if you can learn to like, ask questions to people who are like have done it before and mm-hmm. more experience yeah yeah i definitely understand how like that can because as a person like i help y'all and like i work with you i do understand how like you can learn more like doing it instead of just like looking seeing people doing it yeah. Like mm-hmm. yeah so just yeah. to kind of wrap this up is there anything like y'all want to share to anybody that kind of wants to do this or is interested in it and looking at kind of like being involved in media or worship or stuff like that? Um, I mean, I guess this is a good time to kind of plug what, what we do on Sunday mornings. Yeah. And we're always looking uh, for anyone to help out, whether it's whether, I mean, if you're talented music wise, I know Nathaniel's always looking for people to help out. And we're always uh, looking for people who can, you know, run a camera or, um, you know, help us with the sound or the lyrics or anything in our sound booth. Um, so yeah, so you can contact us. Yeah. And I'll also, I'll throw the spiritual card in there too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Because more, more importantly though, the, the bigger heart behind what we do is that we just love to see people plugged in to what God is doing. And so before you're, you know, plugged into whether it be the worship ministry or the production side of things too, um, we would just love to see you on a Sunday, on a Wednesday. Um, just come out and say, hey, like most of the time there's so many people that if you don't come up and talk to us, we're we're just not going to get to you because people are always coming up. So like be one of those people to come up and talk to us and just make connections and figure things out because ultimately like that's what we're about. Like we're about building the kingdom and that's the heart behind everything that it is we do. So. All right. Well, thank you all so much for talking with us today.